What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new software update. As you can see here, by going into our software update page, we have a new update that's available with a new UI interface that has sort of been upgraded. This is slightly different from the initial beta, as you can see the layout here. This is how the layout on beta 1 used to look, and now this is how the Sequoia 15.4 beta 2 layout looks. Now, one of the new changes I realized that the software made is enabling new software updates when available. Usually I like to turn this off so that I can make videos and show you manually. So that's something that had changed. And unlike previously, we would have to click on the more info tab and then get to see the software update size itself. This link takes you to an update Mac OS page that tells you how to update your Mac and keep it on the latest version, which is okay, but you can see the update size now is right there for Mac OS Sequoia 15.4 beta 2 on my M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro the update size is 3.15 gigs and I was updating from Mac OS 15.4 beta 1 now if we go to the developer page some other updates were released alongside this and those updates include iOS 18.4 beta 2 alongside its iPad OS version we have Mac OS 15.4 beta 2 of course this is the video for that TV OS 18.4 beta 2 vision OS 2.4 beta 2 watch os 11.4 beta 2 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if you want to keep up to date and know what's changed then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out now what i'm going to do is update my mac to this new version that has been released and then we're going to look into the software and see what are the changes that this new software update has to offer just like that my device is now updated to this new version and if we go into the system settings and then go to where it says storage just to see how much macOS is taking you can see macOS itself is actually taking 22.23 gigs and if we click on the info tab right there you can see the new build number that we have here with this new update it's 24e5 triple two f it ends with an f and believe previously we were th we were coming from an s build so it is quite a substantial jump and for some reason it doesn't show any apple intelligence uh software storage being taken up by the os maybe i'll try that again if i click on the more info tab there is no apple intelligence storage for some reason let me know if this is something that you are seeing just to make sure i have apple intelligence turned on if i go on the info tab right there you can see yes i do have apple intelligence turned on but in the storage usually it shows that but now with this new update it doesn't seem to show anything at all and another thing that has slightly been changed some people saw this when they were on beta 1 i didn't see it for me but now it's here with this new update you can see once the system is done checking that your device is up to date you can see here it gives you a green check mark and says your mac is up to date and shows you the mac os beta version that you are on I I wished it would tell you which specific beta like in this case 15.4 beta 2 but it just shows you this new updated ui which is good if you are into emojis i'll be happy to let you know that as part of the unicode 16 standard apple has added a couple of new emojis right there so the first one you can see right there that's a fingerprint and this one that you see is bags under eyes just to depict tiredness and then the next one that we have right here is leafless tree so you can type that in your emoji and it will show up and then and this one is the root vegetable the next one is a harp that you see right there and then this is one that depicts a shovel this one is one that depicts splatter and then the last one that's here is the sark flag so all these are now available and once you update your iphone as well to add the latest ios 18.4 version you get these new emojis and the cool thing about these is that now you can actually create gen emojis based on this so you can create different versions of this uh splatter or the shovel itself change colors which is something that's good just to put it out there i did try gen emoji and typing a few prompts and 
and words to describe whatever idea I had and Jenny Moji with this update seems to be much faster compared to the beta one. In Image Playground when you try and create an image using a prompt that you might have in mind you can see sometimes it glitches and reverts to some of your old uh, creations so I had a prompt that said a red car in snow but you can see for some reason it has a bug where it's mixing results and if you don't know in image playground they've added the animation style sketch that was missing from the previous updates and now this is one that you can see when i change um the, from animation to sketch you can see the results that it shows if i go to the next one you can see how this looks and it's sort of combined my prompt where it glitched out with uh, my existing results you can see here i think it's mixing results with this but when i created that i actually went on this plus icon to create a new one so that's a bug but yeah the sketch seems to be loading up as well which is much better within the photos application when you open it up for the first time you're going to see a new pop-up screen that tells you uh, new collections more utilities featured photos and the ability to search clean up and create now one of the new ones that I wanted to show you is of course the ability to create you can always go to file and when you see this section that says create you can see it gives you the ability to create slideshows you can print wall decor and so on which is something that's good and you can now create memories as well which is something that's good and you can see here create a memory movie with just a description so you can type in whatever you want and it will create it using apple intelligence as you can see we have the icon right there and if you created something this is the section that you'll be able to see it in something that's good as well about this update if you have an m4 mac mac mini or whatever device that's an m4 the previous update seemed to have issues with virtualization and if that's an issue that you're experiencing on the beta one update this new one seems to have fixed that issue at least so that's a plus something that a lot of people wanted is actually mail categories you can see when you open it there's that pop-up screen that shows up that you know initializing or something like that and it's a very quick pop-up screen that shows up for me and then it disappears but yeah this is mail categories you can see here you have an explainer basically pop-up screen that tells you what all of, of these categories mean so all mail you can see here it says see all messages show messages from every category listed together for a quick glance at your inbox if you go to promotions there's a new pop-up that tells you that special offers deals and more and see what's new from businesses and organizations you recognize and then here if you go to updates you can see here it has to do with news subscriptions and social stay updated with a place for everything including newsletters and alerts and then the next one is transactions this one has to do with receipts orders and deliveries keep track of your orders including shipping and delivery notices bundled by sender and the next one is primary under here it's just basically mail categories it talks about find the messages that matter most in primary and organize everything else turn this off anytime from the menu you can actually try categories right there or if you want to turn it off you can do that if you want to hide categories you can go to the help section and if you type categories and go to this section that says show mail categories you can see it hides it and if you want to show it again you can search for categories and then there's the section that says show mail categories you can go to the actual section right there but if you want to quickly hide it just click there and boom it will hide it just like that and show it according to the different selections that you would do if you are interested about new hardware to be specific new hardware that pertains to the macbook air you can see that tim cook actually tweeted that this week there's something that's going to happen and it's going to be in the air assuming i'm guessing this is just referencing to the release of the m4 macbook air this this week that are going to be announced so if that's something you're waiting for then that's coming up pretty soon there's also some minor updates within the shortcut app depending on which application you want to initiate a shortcut in some give you the ability to now open and interact with a calendar using a shortcut and depending on the shortcut you've selected you might be able to see that there's new options pertaining to that app
When it comes to the release notes for this update, you can see that there's a known issue when it comes to Apple Intelligence. After restoring macOS 15.4, some Apple Intelligence features might not be available or you might see downloading support and you can see there's a workaround for that. And there's also a resolved issue when it comes to automatic assessment configuration. There's a few new features with FS Kit and the resolved issue with game controller where game controllers might stop responding when accessibility features such as voice control or voice over are enabled and that has been resolved this one about podcast was actually there and existing in beta one you can always try it out and there's an sd card reader update for apple silicon max with an internal sd card reader now support sduc larger than two terabytes which is great there's a new store kit and a few other deprecations and resolved issues so this is a publicly available page and you can always read some of these results issues if you're expecting the third beta of mac os 15.4 it's possible we might get it next week as we might be on a weekly release cycle now that you know this week the new hardware will be out for the macbook s but other than that that's all i have to mention according to apple this update is officially going to be released in april so that's when it comes out and it's going to bring apple intelligence to more countries and regions among or including the new features and changes that i've highlighted Basically, that's the new update and some of the changes it has to offer. I didn't experience any issues when I was updating from beta 1 to this new release beta 2 that we have today. Just an FYI. But yeah, that's about it for me. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video pretty soon. Peace.